guys, Valerie here from Art a la Carte, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to draw a cute unicorn girl. Doo doo. Yay! She's so cute. What I love about this drawing is I'm hopefully going to be doing it in three parts. The first video is going to be just the sketch up where I draw her as a sketch. And if you guys enjoy this video, then I'll post a second video where I do the inking and give you some tips and tricks on how to ink this drawing. And the third video will be some tips and tricks on how I color her using Copic markers. So without further ado, let's get started with the actual sketch up. So to start off this drawing, we're going to take it step by step. And the first step is to make sure that you leave enough room for everything that you want. So if you're going to have a long horn, make sure you leave enough space at the top of the paper for that. To start the head, we're going to go with a simple circle shape. And I know a lot of people say it's really hard and they don't know how to draw circles. And it's true. Circles can be really challenging. So I actually have a video where I talk about the steps that I did to learn how to draw circles. So I'll leave a link to that video at the end of this video. Once you have the head shape itself there, we're going to add in the chin. So I'm going to bring down a central line down the front and then create this slight little V shape, triangular shape at the bottom. Whether you want to have a longer chin or a shorter chin is up to you. The next part is just to simply block in the facial features. And I'm doing this really cartoony, kind of very illustrated, so it really allows my style to shine through. So just know if yours doesn't look like mine, that's perfectly fine. We each have our own different little artistic styles. But I'm gonna block in some shapes for the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. Blocking things in before you start going in with the hard detail allows you to move things around or change them or to really step back and look to make sure your eyes aren't different sizes and things like that. But once you're happy with the way that things are looking, now we can go in and start positioning the details. Now, my unicorn girl is going to have also horse ears, like a headband with horse ears, but I wanna go ahead and block in her ears just in case when the finished hair is all there, I want a little bit of her ears to place through, so I'm just gonna put some kind of really squished oval shapes. Now I'm gonna put in the neck and the shoulders. And a little trick detail with the shoulders is to allow a little bit of curvature before you round out the top of the shoulder. So if you look at your shoulders, it comes off the neck. It'll dip in just a little bit before it rounds off at the corner of your shoulder. So there's a little insider scoop in case you didn't notice that. Now that everything is totally blocked in, now we can get into the detail. I love this part. Again, totally up to your style but I'm gonna start in with my upper eyelids kind of curving and getting the right shape in there first. I like to do upper eyelids and then a hint of bottom eyelids and not make the full like line all around the eye. For the actual eye, like the, the iris and the pupil, I'm just going to use some circles. I'm gonna have her looking a little bit cross-eyed and up like she's looking up towards her horn just for some added cuteness. Due to the style that I'm using, I'm not going to go into super detail with the actual pupils in her eye. I'm just going to kind of hint there, but make sure I'm leaving room for like the sparkle and the shine and all that, which if you forget to put in the shine and you color that, don't worry because you can always go in with like a gel pen or a little bit of white acrylic paint and dab in your shine. Now let's go ahead and begin blocking out the hair and hair can be really challenging. I actually have quite a few videos on how to draw hair in my Drawing People 101 playlist. So if you want a little bit more in-depth detail on that, again, I will leave that as a link at the end of this video too. But a tip for drawing hair is to instead of drawing it strand by strand, draw it as a shape. So think of how the hair flows, how it kind of comes into a little bit of clumps of hair instead of just like individual hairs. That's the method that works best for me, so feel free to try it out and see if it works for you. Now let's get to the fun part and add the horn. Of course, if you wanted to just draw a cute girl and not add the horn, you could totally skip this part and she would still be a really fun little drawing. But for the horn, I'm going to use a really tall and slender kind of triangle shape and then add some diagonal lines going around the side, kind of curving out the shape of each individual curve of the horn. There I have it. Now, as I said before, I wanted to give her kind of like ears, like a headband. I saw these when I was at Comic-Con. They're really cute. They're little headbands with unicorn horns on them. And so I'm just going to place some ears in there, making sure they're roughly about the same size. One ear is a little bit bigger than the other, but that's okay. 
So this is the last part of our sketch where we kind of look and double check to make sure everything is in the place that we want it. This is a good time to go back and erase the guidelines that you don't need anymore. I probably should have said this tip before you placed in your guidelines, but draw really lightly with your pencil. Using a light weight on your pencil can make it so much easier to erase. If you really are digging your pencil in there, then it can be super hard to erase those guidelines. So a little trick that I learned through my own trial and error. This is also a great place to go in and add those fun little details like her dress. So I'm gonna add a little tank top and I think I'm gonna put in a little bit of lace around the edges. I'm gonna use these curvy little lines around the outer edge of the tank top and then go in and begin adding in just fold lines. Anywhere the line kind of curves back on itself, I'll add a little fold. The best way to figure out where to do this is just look at regular lace and other frilly little fabrics and see how they fold back. Adding fun little details like flowers around the unicorn horn can be fun too. And you definitely don't have to stick with like little daisies. You could put roses or whatever kind of flower you want. So this pretty much is where I would finish with the sketch up part. I went ahead and inked the whole thing in and colored it. And if you guys would like to see a step-by-step -step tutorial on the inking process and the coloring using Copic markers, let me know in the comment section below. And also make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up. If you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, definitely you're gonna wanna hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any future videos. I hope you enjoyed this drawing. And if you'd like to share it with me, you can always tag me in your photos on Instagram or Twitter. I'll leave all the social media tags and links in the description box below. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and until next time, God bless you guys and we'll see you in another art video. Bye-bye.